Hey, it's Robert with you again. And in today's episode, I wanted to give you a quick update and discuss home sales and the record setting numbers that surprised many of us. Coming up with you right now. Needless to say, with a worldwide health crisis that we have all experienced, there was a deep impact on the housing market this year. And many of us have been eagerly waiting for some bright signs of a recovery. The National Association of Realtors, also known as NAR, recently put out their existing home sales report, and June set some record-setting numbers. And according to NAR, home sales jumped up over 20% from May to a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 4.72 million in June. And NAR detailed in their report and said, and I quote, existing home sales rebounded at a record pace in June, showing strong signs of a market turnaround after three straight months of sales declines caused by the ongoing pandemic. Each of the four major regions achieved month over month growth. This significant boost is a major rebound for the housing market and the U.S. economy. And according to the chief economist of the NAR, Mr. Lawrence Young, he says the momentum has the potential to continue on as well. And in his report, it says, and I quote, the sales recovery is strong as buyers were eager to purchase homes and properties that they had been eyeing during the shutdown. This revitalization looks to be sustainable for many months ahead as long as mortgage rates remain low and job gains continue. And as we know, mortgage rates hit the all-time low of below 3% just last week and potential home buyers are going to take advantage of these historic low rates so we expect the momentum to continue to move forward and as i'm seeing in my area on a day-to-day -day basis home buyer competition is fierce and that contributes to home prices continuing to increase as we see home buyers entering into bidding wars on properties they want to purchase the report also notes, and I quote, the median existing home price for all housing types in June was 295,300, up 3.5% from June 2019, 285,400. As prices rose in every region, June's national price increase marks 100 straight months of year over year gains. In plain English, prices continue to trend upward. And I know it's hard to believe as I have many people ask me, how is it that in this economy, home prices continue to increase? But again, I'm just reporting on what I see on a day-to-day -day basis and the facts of the reports that continue to come out. And I shared this graph with you that shows home price increases by region. And the reason for home price increases, interest rates are low, there's pent up demand and there's a decline in inventory on the market. And Mr. Lawrence Young in his report also indicates, and I quote, home prices rose during the lockdown and could rise even further due to heavy buyer competition and a significant shortage of supply. Bottom line, low inventory, high demand. We're going to see a very competitive market for at least the next coming weeks possibly months, as housing is still leading the way towards a recovery. So if you have any specific questions to your area or region, please reach out as I've had many people reach out to ask me questions and I enjoy the feedback I get from them. My number is 754-273-5573. And as usual, I wanna say thank you because it's been overwhelming the response of people calling me, reaching out, whether they want to move to South Florida, relocate within South Florida, whether Miami-Dade, Broward County, or Palm Beach County. And I've been happy to make that transition so much smoother for them. And lastly, please don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when new videos come out as I am happy to provide new content every week. And until next time, stay safe.